Okay, so you just bought yourself cheap Chinese uh, indicators, which are sequential, and you expect them to work like this, like light up all the way. Surely if you have a stock bike, uh, they will not. Uh, they will only like hyper flash with one or two, uh, maybe. And that's not legal, so how do you fix that problem? Now, normally, you would just buy uh, resistors, which match the OEM, uh, flasher uh, bulb uh, but that will only make them light up half the way and uh, that's not still not legal so uh, you think to yourself you're buying one of these uh, this is a lead uh, flasher relay uh, looks just like this one this one is the stock one you replace that under the seat and uh, same problem uh, you combine those two uh, same problem well, how do you fix them? Uh, well, I the way I fixed them was that I bridged two of these contacts uh, on the red flasher relay. You can see I've taken out those pins over there and just bridged them with a cable. Uh, now to figure out which one you need to bridge, uh, check out which uh, one is the switch power and which one is from the switch or from the uh, yeah from the emergency switch there. Uh, the only con with this one is uh, normally on your bike you will have these indicator indicators uh, blinking while you're blinking but that will not happen because you bridged uh, the relay and just relying on the built-in relay on these ones now if you're gonna buy them I suggest buying four, <laughs> so you back at cover. Otherwise, you will not have uh, any any blinking on your uh, stock indicators. So uh, for for sequential, uh, you buy four. Yeah, that's my that's my tip of the day. <laughs> yeah, bye.